Welcome to another session on Big Data Technologies. Today, let's explore some of the tools to get connected to MongoDB database. Let's take a very quick look at one of the website that lists out tools and technologies that are related to MongoDB. It's called mongodbtools.com. Here you can filter out the tools based on your compatibility or language that you're interested in or based on licenses or the purpose. We'll take a look at RockMongo and we will also look at RoboMongo. Let's install RoboMongo. Go to robomongo.org slash download and download the version that you need. They have a different version for each operating system and uh, installation is a breeze. You can also check out their website. It was pretty interesting read. So once you install, either you have a shortcut created on your desktop or uh, you can go to the install folder and launch RoboMongo from there. Here is mine under program files. For, I have already created a connection to AWS, but let me create one for uh, local. So I already have my MongoDB running in the background on my local host. So let me create a connection to that. Local MongoDB. This is all I have to mention. It's running on local and the default port. And no authentication needed. I just test it. It's working fine. Say save and then connect. Oh, I need to connect to the other one that I just created there. So here, let me go to C list and see what collections I have. I have a C list collection. So this is uh, the default interface of RoboMongo, uh, where I can keep exploring all these objects. Then I can also right click and say edit document, and I can see. Um, JSON format of this ob object or document. I can also turn the same object more object view into document view by clicking on this um, icon and the whole list. This document gets converted to the text mode and you can see the JSON format. Let's edit one of these objects. Right click edit document and let's say I want to add height. And uh, Sanjay is six feet. You can validate this one. Unable to parse. We forgot a comma here. So this is why you need such validators. That's true. And say save. That's saved. You can also check it. Yes, we have height. Uh, so this is basically what you have on RoboMongo. Very quick and very neat interface. All right. So the next tool that we are going to explore is RockMongo, which is a, a MongoDB administration tool. If you are familiar with uh, PHP MyAdmin, which comes uh, prepackaged with a LAMP or WAMP kind of settings, you will find that RockMongo is very similar to that. Let's take a quick look at the website. I'm not going to spend any time on installation of this. Instead, I'll take you through the details of connecting to one of my AWS instance, which has RockMongo installed. Let me get connected to my AWS instance to get all the details that I need for my RockMongo. I go to Bitnami, login, and then I connect with my account and then I go to console AWS launchpad then I go to sign in with sign in and then I choose me cloud accounts sign into my vault go to virtual machine this is my HK and then this is, I go to application. So here is my access rock Mongo instructions. So once I go there, it uh, tells me to create a uh, connection using putty. So let's do that. And 
and here is my um, connection details so along with my AWS connection I will also create a tunnel um, which can be created by saying you know, source port as 888 and local host 80 I can add that. that's what I've already added here so I don't need to do that again so I open this and it gets connected and also opens opens the tunnel between this laptop and AWS Rock Mongo. So once you have done this, let's open the browser local host Rock Mongo and it asks us username and password. Default username is root and the password for this can be found over here. If you click on show, it copies the password that you can paste over here. And then db i'll just leave it blank and log in so there we are it shows the admin and local database let's go to local in which i already created a hk hk database and under that i have created uh, some object or the document that you can see here let me update, click on update so it shows me the full object so this tool has uh, a couple of other simple document management and administration related options here such as import export delete duplicate etc we'll wrap it up here and to summarize we looked at robo mongo its installation user interface and then we also got connected to aws we saw its administration ui and um, its web interface in general happy learning